Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Still Black Blur and welcome back to vlog number 3 of our Siege Ballista Totem build. Now, I was pondering the other day that uh, I kind of saw uh, Zigadi's uh, build, uh, which was the Ass Reacher, and uh, it was really a uh, it was a really powerful and OP build. And I thought that maybe since that is a bow-based build, maybe we could implement some of the uh, theory uh, that goes into the uh, to, to his build into um, into the Siege Ballista build uh, simply because of the fact that the uh, Siege Ballista is also in fact a bow based uh, bow based skill gem so um, here's how we did it so let's go get into the uh, skill tree real quick so basically the ascendancy class that we will be uh, choosing will be the assassin uh, in order to get the noxious strike and then the uh, toxic uh, delivery which uh, basically uh, which basically gives us a huge amount of uh, damage over time effects uh, from the poison and of course from the uh, from the bleeding that the uh, from the uh, bleeding that the uh, noxious strike uh, does uh, of course, we're going to be taking the ambush over here. Uh, but then, uh, if you want to, you know, you could either take the unstable infusion, and if you uh, finish the uber, uber labyrinth, you know, you could go with deadly infusion. Uh, but for me, I would like to go with the ambush and then the assassinate instead. So, so that's basically it when it comes to the um, uh, to the uh, ascendancy skill uh, ascendancy skill class. Oh my god! Anyway. And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna go and take the uh, physical damage and chaos damage nodes over here, uh, ending with coordination. Uh, we did go up to take the blood siphon, the trickery, and then the assassination. Uh, again, this will be of course a hybrid of um, uh, crit and then uh, and a uh, damage over time uh, damage over time build. And then we went over here to take the entropy again to in further increase our uh, DOT or the damage over time effect of our uh, of the siege ballista. And then uh, the facts of the viper, the nullification, uh, blood drinker over here. And then we went over here to take the uh, pierce. Uh, uh, some chances of uh, uh, projectile damage and pierce ending with uh, pierce shots. And then we took the uh, poison damage nodes over here uh, with the fatal toxins. Uh, we did get the acrobatics over here. Now, if you want to, uh, since the level is only at uh, 87, you know you can push through and get the acrobatics improvement ending with uh with uh face acrobatics and then we went down over here to take some accuracy and attack speed nodes ending with uh acuity now again uh, the build will be heavily based on uh, getting as much dexterity as we can if we can you know we can get it uh we should get it to 600 but if we can get it to 800 you know five siege ballistas is better than 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 four you know, go ahead and do so. And we went to the uh, left side or right side over here to take some uh, bow damage and attack speed ending with deadly draw. Now, this is actually entirely optional. If you want to, uh, you can invest in Heartseeker, you know, probably invest in more life uh, by getting thick skin over here or finishing all of the life nodes uh, over here. It really uh, depends on, uh, up to you on how seriously uh, you want to go into the build. Uh, but then if you really want to do, you know, higher level tiered maps, then, you know, uh, life, is, uh, life is really the way to go uh, but for me you know I, I just really wanted to uh, get as much attack speed as we can uh, because if you guys didn't notice you know the attack speed of the uh, siege ballista is actually pretty low uh, actually it has a 50% less attack speed there so actually the attack speed will uh, benefit uh, the the build overall when it comes to its uh, end game uh, DPS and then we went down over here to take some life nodes, uh, ending with herbalism. And then, of course, uh, the uh, critical strike chance and bow critical strike multipliers ending with lethality. Uh, we went down over here to uh, get some more uh, DOT uh, damage nodes over here, ending with uh, dirty te techniques. Uh, we did get uh, the uh, king of the hill over here, uh, some more uh, additional to our dexterity uh, um, uh, uh, weathered hunter. And then we went over to the left side to take the art of the gladiator and some more life nodes, uh, bravery. And then we went up over here to take some more uh, evasion of life uh, finesse uh, the heart of the oak uh, and then we've gotten uh, one socket over here uh, we did choose the reign of the splinters because this will be uh, basically our LMP uh, because uh, when you when you take the LMP actually the damage reduction is actually pretty huge uh, versus the uh, reign of splinters so this is going to be an integral part uh, of the build we went up over here to take some uh, totem damage uh, placement speed nodes uh, ending with totem exil uh, some life nodes over here path of the warrior uh, constitution and then we took uh, another life nodes over here uh, another <laughs> another uh, socketed skill gem over here uh, and then we uh, we place the fluid motion in order to further uh, increase our uh, dexterity again we are trying to shoot for the uh, 600 plus uh, dexterity but if you can shoot it to you know uh, 800 then the better you know go ahead and do so uh, and then finally we've, we've taken some uh, some more totem damage and life nodes over here ending with totemic mastery 
Now uh, the the um, uh, we are at level eighty seven again. Uh, 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 in the further levels, if I can still push it, I'm going to uh, get some more life nodes over here. Uh, practically taking the uh, last ten percent over there. And then if we really want to push it, you know, uh, as much as possible, I really want to make uh, the build a little bit more tanky. So yeah, getting the uh, thick skin is uh, really a must. Or you know, if you're not really serious and you just really want to, uh, you know, further improve the damage of the siege ballista, you know, you can't really go wrong by getting some more bow damage nodes over here ending with deadly draw so that's going to be a huge uh increase when it comes to uh the overall dps of the bow increasing its physical damage damage uh basically increasing the bleed effect uh of the uh of the overall build now, uh, when it comes to the uh, when it comes when it comes to itemization, we are going to be using the Iron Commander uh, together with the uh, Black Black Sun Crest over here in order to uh, the Black Sun Crest is just there for uh, in order for me to be able to increase the dexterity, you know, as much as I can because of the uh, increased percentage over there. But that's actually uh, entirely optional. Uh, if you have already reached six hundred and uh, you know uh, without using the uh, Black Sun uh, Sun Crest, you know, you you're better off using um, either. Uh, the what was it Devotos Devotion or the Rat's Nest to get that uh, additional 15% increase in attack speed uh, again the Iron Commander will be integral for the build and then of course we have the Drill Neck over here uh, which basically increases our damage by a lot uh, because of the fact that uh, because of the, um, the the Pierce Chance the damage that we get uh, through Pierce Chance uh, again, we are going to be using the Maligar's Virtuosity here. Uh, still, uh, you know, this is actually really entirely optional. Uh, you can just choose uh, a pair of gloves which has a huge life, a couple of resistances, uh, maybe get a huge attack speed there and probably get a roll of uh, dexterity. Uh, for our belt, nothing really special, just uh, life and resist. Boots, life and resist. Um, uh, when it comes to our rings, you know, uh, just life and then resist. Uh, if you can, you know, you can get your uh, dexterity over here too. And then, uh, of course, uh, life and resist for our uh, ring. And then uh, one of the things that could really, really help you when it comes to uh, reaching reaching 600 plus is the at, uh, uh, Astromance uh, Onyx Amulet, which basically gives you a huge boost uh, when it comes to uh, all of your, you know, all of the uh, attributes. Now for the skill gems, uh, we are uh, what's going to be attached to Siege Ballista will be uh, peer support, of course, and then the uh, physical projectile attack damage, um, and then we have faster attacks over there, uh, increased critical strikes, and then slower projectiles, um, slower projectiles. Now uh, you can use uh, critical damage if you want to increase critical damage, but I really wanted to further increase the physical aspect of a uh, physical damage aspect uh, of the Siege Ballista in order to uh, increase basically the damage over time effect from the uh, from the bleed damage so that's uh, the idea that we're going through uh, with this one but then you know uh, you can probably change uh, either the uh, physical projectile attack damage or the uh, slower projectile support with uh, increased uh, increased critical strike uh, damage if you want to you know you can uh, experiment with that a little bit and then of course we have um, the typical combination of mold shell, increased duration, immortal call, and uh, CWDT. You know I never really remove this uh, within uh, any builds that I do because it's really really good. Uh, it save it can you know save your ass a lot. Uh, and then uh, for our golem, we're going to be using the flame golem over here, uh, attached to blind, uh, vile summon skeletons, and minion life. Again, the uh, vile, vile summon skeletons is actually a pretty uh, amazing meat shield uh, that you guys could cast when it comes to uh, bo uh, killing bosses. Uh, they can provide a huge meat, meat shield in front, and then you could put your siege ballista behind them. It's really, really, uh, it's really, really uh, um, a good combination, I should say, uh, when it comes to survivability. And then uh, we have Blink Arrow, uh, CWDT, um, increased duration, and then face run over there so that, you know, uh, when you get hit, you know, you could, um, the, the face run could get uh, activated and then, you know, you could run away. Uh, and then uh, finally, uh, for our curse, we're going to be using Enfeeble uh, attached to uh, Blasphemy over there, uh, Enhanced Support, and then uh, finally Herald of Ash to further, uh, again, inc increase our uh, physical damage. And we get that uh, Ignite damage. Uh, basically, uh, it also uh, it also gets affected when it comes to uh, the damage damage over time effect now the curse is actually uh, entirely optional uh, you can use vulnerability or you can just use grace since we're going with um, uh, with with the acrobatics uh, over here so yeah there's a lot of options that you guys could actually take uh, when it comes to uh, either the aura or either increasing your damage it really depends on your uh, on your play style or, or on your taste 
Now, uh, the damage of the uh, where is it? Uh, damage of the uh, siege ballista is at uh, 9.6k uh, with a with a critical strike chance of 57.44%, uh, which is already good. You know, anything above 50% when it comes to creatures is is, is already uh, uh, okay in my opinion. And then we have a critical strike multiplier of 315%. Uh, defensively, our uh, evasion rating is at 5.5k with a uh, chance to dodge attacks at uh, where was it? Chance to no evade attacks at the uh 35% and we have a chance uh, additional chance to dodge attacks at 30% uh, all of our resistances are capped and the map that we are going to be doing is a shipyard map uh, I've uh, turned it into a um, a rare map because you guys uh, keep on uh, requesting it uh, so yeah uh, what we have there is uh, more air monsters uh, minus uh, uh, player resistances uh, it has a reflect of 18% uh, uh, monster have four uh, fires additional four uh, percent additional projectiles and then it has a uh, nemesis mod right there Woo! all right and then here we go okay here we go with the gameplay uh, now as far as um, as far as uh, what do you call this as far as uh, how uh, what is the highest level that uh, I was able to uh, map that I was able to do with this build uh, I would say excavation so that's going to be so that's uh, kind of like a what uh, tier 13 map so yeah that's the highest that I, that I was able to do but I did die twice because uh, I'm still mastering um, I'm still mastering the boss and uh, how it actually moves so I didn't actually die because the build sucks uh, the reason that I died was uh, because I haven't uh, you know mastered the uh, boss yet oh shit <laughs> wrong mistake what come on do it already all right there we go so yeah, uh, uh, you know, this is probably one of the most easiest builds uh, to do in my opinion uh, because it's really cheap. Ooh, we have a bastard. Oh god, I already know what this is. Man. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, so this is one of, uh, again, uh, this is one of the uh, most easiest uh, builds to do in my opinion. It's simple, it's easy, it, and it's really, really fun. And you know, you could do uh, high, uh, high, uh, what do you mean, high uh, tiered level maps. You know, really, really easily without uh, without any uh, issues at all. So I highly suggest that you guys try this. It's uh, deceptively good. So as you can see, the damage uh, over time is actually working pretty uh, well. Whoops, where go? I got a um, uh, desync over there. Uh, all right, so what do I have here? I get that. Whoops. Uh, the only you know the only thing that um, that that I'm lacking is really life. But then you know it really depends uh, if you really want to increase the uh, damage of uh, the uh, damage of the oh my god please don't do this oh god don't DC me oh shit all right there we go Whew, uh, I better get on uh, I better get on quickly killing the boss that's not a good sign uh, normally if I get the sync once like that um, the game will crash for some reason oh my god. You know, I don't even know if it's on my end uh, or it's oh, oh shit, this is the wrong way. I don't. I'm not exactly sure if it's on my end or uh, it's it's um, or it's uh, on the servers of GGG. Not exactly sure, but yeah, it kind of sucks that way. Oh yeah. Also, if you can, uh, this is actually a good um, uh, a good flask, the Witchfire Brew. Because it increases your, uh, what does it do? Uh, it increases your evasion rating by 100%, and then uh, you get a 70% increased damage over time effect, which can actually uh, help when it comes to you know um, to the build. Because uh, again, the build is in fact a um, you know damage over time uh, build. So yeah, um, casting that while you know uh, while while the siege ballistas are uh, doing damage is actually a good idea. So yeah, um, it's not really necessary, but it's a good help. Alright, so here's the boss. So I'm going to try and cast it when uh, the, uh, you know, uh, lower tiered monsters are dead. Where is he? Alright, oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Oh my god, they're all dead! Okay, this is, this is bad, this is bad. Alright, so the first boss is dead. I think there are two. Alright, here we go. 
No, 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 no. You ain't gonna get me. All right, so that, that's the second boss. Do we have one more? I'm not exactly sure. All right, so we have one more. Oh, die already, man. Die already. Yeah, he's gonna die. Oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> I got cocky. I wanna get cocky. All right, I wanna get All right, so the third boss is already dead, and then we have a... Uh, uh, strong box over here, so let's uh, let's uh, well let's let's open it for somebody. Oh my god, I forgot to click it again. All right, there we go. Oh, not that I forgot, but I mean, I failed to click it again. <laughs> so that's usually what I do. You know, I just run. All right, we have a bolt map there. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we have orb of fusings. What else do we have? Uh, we have abyssal cry. Oh, it's it, it's uh, it has a quality of 18. Nice. Alright, so aside from that, we didn't get uh, any uniques. Uh, we did get one, but you know, this is something that uh, we'll probably just blend with it. Alright, and then, so that's about it for this episode, guys. Again, let me know what you guys think about the build in the comment section down below. And thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm gonna see you guys on the next part of my video. Have a good one. We have another boss over here, so I didn't know that there were actually two bosses because it's the first time that I uh, played this map. Alright, then, so I 